sounds of success. Yeah, right, uh, right, we made it to the field now. Uh, just behind me here is where they had the archaeological dig, which uh, I put a few videos up on. Uh, you can actually just see the the line here, or where the trench went up to, then it went all the way down to that fence. Uh, there's the Raftman. Uh, please check out his channel, Raftman Metal Detecting Anglesey and Gwynedd. He's just showing off his hoodie there. Uh, on the dig um, around this area here, uh, Raftman actually had the target, and uh, we were only allowed to mark out the targets in the trench. We weren't allowed to dig them out. Uh, we don't think that they actually dug that target out. We think that they left it there. So um, Rathman's using the uh, mine lab CTX 3030 11 inch coil and he's going to see if he can locate that target. He might need a 17 inch coil though. So good luck Rathman. And same with myself, just down the other end there, I actually had the target there which was non-ferrous and I don't think they dug that. So there you go. Right, using the day yesterday, um, 11 inch coil. Now, um, this V4, which um, I put into the Deus last night, uh, I was just trying to get a bit of background on it because uh, it's actually come from Beta. It's B-E-T-A. Now, I never knew what that was. Well, I'm still not 100%. If anyone can shed some light on that, please do so. Um, going on to some forums, uh, I've actually read, now, Beta is what... Uh, XP send out to like the elite uh, XP Deus users around the world, people like Gary from Gary's Metal Detecting channel and then I think they test the software out and you know they say if it needs tweaking and then they, you know they, they just keep on changing it until they get it right. Now when I actually turn on the Deus um, where you get the XP logo it does say down there B18 now I think that is the 18th time they've actually changed the software um, going through some pictures on Google last night, I actually noticed there was a B17 and also a B16, so I, thi I think if I'm right, this is the 18th time they've changed it. Now, this might not be the um, the end of it. Um, maybe when they put it on the website, um, it's due to go live on the XP website this month. Maybe there'll be some more changes. So once it goes on the website, I'll actually connect this back to my laptop and I'll reload 4.0 and then I know then I've actually had it off the uh, XP website because there might even be bugs in this it might not be you know the finished product so just to let you know right um program six now was the relic program now it's called deep and it starts off on the the x and y screen and Program 9 is now the hot program and that starts off on the X and Y screen. Now you can access the X and Y screen on any program you want now, uh, which is quite simple. Say I just want to go to GM Power, uh, press options, configuration. Yeah, yeah, if you go to profile and then you got the uh, the horseshoe there, you can actually change that now to the to the X and Y. So it's not hidden away now in a secret setting so uh basic two has gone as well because that was by goldfield so today i'm going to be in program six which is the old relic and in the deep program i'll just leave it uh at the custom settings which is discrimination 5.5 .5, sensitivity 90 frequency 7.8 uh, iron volume 3, reactivity 2, audio response 4, I might change that to 3 after, and then I do know that the TX gain will be on 3, yeah, so it's maximum power. Okay, so I'll see you at the first target, on to the next. Okay, uh, first target to show you, this is ringing in at 86, uh, not too sure, I thought it was a Kong when I first saw it, but... Uh, now, all this stuff we're digging, now is actually in the the spoil that was dug out. Um, initial thought, it's um, it's off one of the old wooden windows. I think it's a window sash. But uh, yeah, I'll definitely get it checked out anyway. On to the next. Okay, uh, next target from the trench. Uh, I've just dug this out. Um, it might be a fra fragment from a Roman brooch. Uh, I've just showed it to Ian and it's, he said that it could be. Uh, we're not 100% yet. Uh, I'll send some photos off after to um, to Pete, Crazy Crazy 7 as he's my uh, finds expert and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there, so 
It's definitely an old piece of bronze, very, very old piece of bronze. Uh. Okay, let's keep on going. Okay, uh, my next target, uh, ringing in at 86. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a tip of a bullet. Uh, it's gone red in colour. Um, it's looking inside it there, it's got like the white powdery stuff coming out. I don't know, maybe it's not sharp enough to be a bullet, but there's a good weight to it. Uh, ID needed, please. Uh, it's got like a one ring there. Don't know. Okay, let's keep on going. On to the next. Uh, just going off detecting for a minute, uh, just to show you a bit of the history. Uh, this is an old mill here. Uh, when we were here on the dig, this was full and the the owners opened like a sluice gate there so the water's rushing through and I'll just show you where the wheel was now you just hear the water down there there's Ian I don't think I put this in my uh, my other videos right uh, there would have been a big wheel here and I'm sure uh, the owners actually doing a reconstruction of the wheel and just look at that. There it goes. You can see a bit of some uh, old mechanical work and stuff there. Uh, there would have been a room there. You know, this bit's derelict. And through there, goes under the road and then just keeps on going over there. So, yeah. Okay, we're just coming to a new field now. Uh, first target by the gate is a white piece of lead, which is a good sign. Uh, there seems to be a lot of chatter on the dais and the deep program, maybe because it's you know it's running on nearly full power, and there is a, an overhead line here. But I know I could do the frequency shift. If I right, uh, next target. Uh, I could just see a coin there, but I've got a feeling it's going to be a penny or a, a two pence. Yeah, just a penny. Keep okay, uh, next target is ringing in at 79. I've just broken out the top of the plug. Uh, this is a... Well, I'm hoping it's a coin ball. We shall see now. Ah, it is a coin ball. Uh, there's the impression. And uh, this side... Let's see. It's looking like a half penny. There you go. Craig from the Four King Diggers. There's the impression. And we've got a coin here before I start wiping it. Is that Britannia? Ah. Head looking to the left. That's George too. That's not bad detail. George is second. So, early 1700s. Yeah, to see George, uh, I don't know if you can see him in that light, but uh, probably the coin will be destroyed by the time I get home. That's what happens when they go in the in the air. So, yeah, happy with that. George's second half penny. Okay, next target. Uh, I was ringing in the 50s, and on the X and Y screen, it was just going mad, wiggling all over the screen. So, I wasn't sure if it was going to be uh, rubbish-like, but that spoon could tell a story. There uh, might be some more markings there, uh, but uh, yeah, let's keep on going. Okay, uh, Ian's just come up to me now, he's just found this. Uh, it's a top of a Georgian cane, and just look at the pattern on that. I don't know if you can see that. It's not silver. Yeah, <laughs> it is a pity it's not silver, so, so you know, that would have gone in the palm of your hand, and there you go. So that's it. Well done, Ian. On to the Good next. Good, isn't it? Right, uh, right, Ian's just walked up to me now. He's got a coin ball. Um, I'm going for a Victoria on this. Victoria, Victoria half, on it. half penny. Look at it there. Let me just have a quick look at it. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking now, oh, George, five. 1912 and 1936, isn't it? Okay. What's left of it? Yeah. <laughs> On to the next. <laughs> okay, uh, I've, I've actually come out of the um, the preset deep program now. There's a hell of a lot of chatter in here. 
but uh, maybe because it's set in uh, TX Game 3, I'm not sure. But anyway, I've come out and I've gone into the... I've uh, gone into GM Power, uh, I've enabled the tracking and I put the reactivity in 2.5 because there are a lot of targets here close together. But uh, uh, I do like the reactivity in 3, but you do lose a bit of depth. So, uh, so far this 2.5 reactivity is pretty good. Right, next target was ringing 78 one way and 80 the other way. And I think I've got a nice old relic here. Let's have a look. Or maybe not. Um, I've got a nice d decoration, but I'll say it's not too old because of the holes that are in it. Um, I'm not too sure. Uh, there's like a little bump there in the middle. Two holes. I really don't know. Okay, let's keep on going. Okay, next target. Oh, something green in there. I haven't got a clue what it is yet. Uh, have a look. I'm not sure. Maybe some uh, furniture fixing. There's a uh, nice bit of decoration there. Uh, I don't know. Probably Georgian. Okay, let's keep okay, on going. Okay, next goes ringing in the 80s. I think I've got a coin down here. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's in poor Nick again. I'm not sure, maybe another George 5. Yeah, 19 something. Okay, let's keep okay, on going. Target. Uh, I think I got silver. Uh, silver spoon, top of it. Silver spoon. Uh, oh, hang on, there might be more there. Oh. I'll check that now, but on the day I was bringing in at 93, so it was 91 when I first went over there. Nice one. That's my first silver in the, the 4.0 update, so yeah, happy with that. On to the next. Right, uh, next find by Ian. Uh, Ian's not filming today, so I'm doing all the filming for us. Uh, he's got a battle top key, and just to prove it's not fake, imprint. Yeah, there um, you go, look, three ninety nine eBay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I think he just got me some thumbs down on this video. <laughs> okay, uh, next target. This, I think it's just the remains of a pen knife. Yeah, I'll definitely go with that. Right, uh, we've just had permission now off the uh, the owner that we can do the, well, it's like a little garden here in front of the mill. Uh, police. Oh, Mark, police got there going past, just watching us. Uh, right, uh, this is dated here to 1640. Uh, so we've got permission to do the garden area. Uh, Ian's dug his first target, he's had a 10 beds. So, and... I'm in the hot programme, there's a hell of a lot of iron in here, there's been a lot of activity in here. Uh, and first target, there's the imprint there. Genuine imprint, and here's a coin. So let's have a look. Look at that imprint there. Rim, imprint crazy. Right, we've got a George 5, just look at the patina on that. That's bronze, that is. Um, let me see if I can get the date. Yeah, 1918 penny. So that's been there. Well, it's 99 years old, isn't it? So very nice. I'm happy with that. On to the next. Still up into the mill place here. Uh, I've changed coils now. I've gone down to a 9 inch coil because there's a hell of a lot of iron and uh, that would be much better for target separation. Uh, I'm still on the hot program. Uh, bang in signal here, 93. Iron all around it and. Old uh, horse buck, the uh, horse buckle. Uh, this would have been brass. So yeah, I don't mind finding yeah, totally these. Out of time now. Um, I've done quite a few live digs today, but uh, probably gonna be only one or two that you've seen. Uh, live digs don't always work. Uh, I finished off on a different field here. Uh, Ian had the silver here uh, last time that we were here. He had a 
Oh, I can't remember. I think it was a Victoria shilling. Uh, the, the sheep up here are getting stressed out because they were their lambs, so uh, I haven't gone too close to them. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm very happy with the V4 uh, update. Uh, but like I said in the start of the video, um, the software that's in there now, there still might be a bit of tweaking done by uh, XP. So so when the update does go live on the website, I'll be reloading it just in case there are any little bugs in it but what's in it now is a step in the right direction um, it's definitely better now as it is uh, it's better than the 3.2 so I'm actually full of cold now yeah so um, yeah I had a little bit of silver I had the um, the spoon and there's been quite a few coins off here today so no silver coins but uh, it's still nice to see a anything silver come out the hole so okay so thank you for watching commenting and subscribing uh out next on sunday uh with with a rack man we're not sure where we're going yet though if we're on anglesey or going towards my ancient permission so take care all the best <laughs>I haven't mastered this X and Y screen yet, so I'm not 100% know what's going on with it. Right, okay, just, just in front of the car, you'll uh, I'm going to do a live dig on this. Tax, I think it's a bit of copper or bronze, but it's non ferrous, and you're going to take all your non ferrous targets. <laughs>